Guitars. The first thing we need to do to locate to these out is, is a roto zip with a circle attachment. There. Makes it very easy. I set my mace of wood back in the box after I've made my cut. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the cone down in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is our neck, getting our neck set up to okay. go into the box. Um, you can see I've got my neck joint cut Here out, and I'm going to add a fingerboard to our neck that's going to raise it up above the scale. End. So what I do is I come from the bridge out. <laughs> See, that's pretty fast. If I did that with a, a rasp or a hand plane, I could have spent 30, 40 minutes or, or longer shaping that the way I want. Now really all I have to do is do a little touch up, get some of these little edges off like that with some sandpaper, and this neck's really basically about finished. Um, so we'll tidy that up a bit and move on to that way. Now you can remove most of it with a bandsaw, but at some point you're going to have to, uh, with a chisel or a router bit, something, you're going to have to shape the end of that piece. So I'm going to finish up the end of that and then uh, we'll get that attached. Now what I do is run my wires through the cone. simple as tapping them in with a plastic or a rubber faced hammer. Um, again, they should fit snug. You shouldn't just be able to drop it in, otherwise you may have to glue it. It should be a pressure fit. It's time to marry this neck to our box. And that's really just about as simple as we need to get some glue in here. And I, I try and make sure I, I take my finger and I rub some glue on both sides of the the pocket in the back to make sure that there's where I need it here. to be. And it evens out. They're up in the corners and everything. Now, before we put our cover on, we're going to want to make some notches in here for our strings. And what I've, I've done is I've made myself a template that I can just lay on there and make my marks. The other thing you could do is just lay your cover on there. A really nice string flame maple fingerboard on our headstock. And play a little something just so that you can hear it. Hear our PGO. How to do an angled headstock. Um, we're going to do a video later on and show you this in a lot more detail, but just to give you a kind of a clue on how it, the process works, um, basically what you have to do is cut the angle, cut the neck at an angle, which will allow you to um, basically make it uh, do a turn. And the way we do that is with a uh, 
a tapered jig, which you can buy these or you can make these. Um, I would recommend you look up Jim Frets on uh, the web service Veo V E O H. Jim Frets. He has a lot of instructional videos. That's where I learned and kind of made my jig from. But basically, to do a scarf joint, you take a solid piece of wood and you put it on and you run it through your table saw and then what happens is after you've cut this piece off